How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 18 has just been revealed and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Series 18 updates. We've got seven new cars, a stunt park and much more. Now the second expansion has also been revealed today but we're not talking about that in this video. That will have a separate video so if you want to know about the second expansion check my channel for the other video. This video is just about Series 18 and these seven new cars etc etc. Obviously the theme is Horizon Wilds Takeover and firstly we're going to cover the festival playlist, all of the new rewards and new cars within the festival playlist. So for the full series for 80 points you can get the first new car of this month, the Subaru Brat, and for 160 points the Sierra 700R, that is also a new car. Very interesting to see two new cars on the full series rewards, especially the 160 points one, they rarely do that. On to the first week for 20 points, you can get the third new car of this month, the Audi Quattro S1, the one that we saw a few days ago in the screenshot. And then for 40 points, you can get the BMW X6M. Now there is another new car on this first week, and it is through a seasonal championship called 2016 Hoonigan Gymkhana 9 Ford Focus RS RX. Now we previously have the Gymkhana 10 Ford Focus RS in the game, now we have the Gymkhana 9. This is probably down to Ken Block's passing. They wanted to add that back to the game. So that is the fourth new car of this month. The Forzathon shop for that first week has stuff like the Porsche 959, the Polaris truck, a beautiful morning car horn, and the Lion Crew socks. Here's some screenshots of the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the fifth new car of this month, the Honda Trophy from 2015. And then for 40 points, the Veloster N. The Forzathon shop for that second week has stuff like the Extreme E McLaren, the Volkswagen Beetle, dial-up modem car horn and black plate joggers. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges on that second week. The third week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the Polaris RZR Pro, which is the sixth new car. For 40 points, you can get the number 42 Extreme E truck. The Forzathon shop for that third week has stuff like the Napier Railton, the Mercedes-Benz 6x6, the Duck Quack car horn, and the Navy Plaid hoodie. Here are the rest of the challenges on that third week. The fourth and final week, which is spring, for 20 points we have the seventh new car of this month, the Nissan Safari, and for 40 points, the Mini X-Raid. That is all seven new cars, we can see they're all very rally off-road focused, which is really cool to see within a Horizon Wilds Outpost update. The Forza Von Shop for that fourth week has stuff like the number 5 Extreme E, Mercedes Racing Truck, Welcome Spring Car Horn, and Doodle Pattern Leggings. Here are the rest of the challenges available that fourth week. So that's the festival playlist, that's the seven new cars. Let's see what else we have. So, so there's a bunch of evolving world changes and I have screenshots to accompany them. We have the following here. Evolving world, over the next four weeks, look out for new decorations around the Horizon Wilds Festival outpost. If you're a fan of murals, they'll also be decorated throughout the series with photo challenges, encouraging you to capture your best image of each in each season. So murals are getting a bit of a makeover along with the festival the Wilds Festival, as you can see on screen. Now we expected this to be very similar to the Horizon Rush takeover last year, and it has been. The Horizon Wilds Outpost has had a makeover, as we can see. The Stunt Park is another evolving world change. The fan favorite Stunt Park is returning with refreshed colors to celebrate Horizon Wilds takeover. Meanwhile, in the autumn season, look out for the collectible Piñata Dinosaur, which can be found by the stadium. Complete the Piñata Saurus challenge to receive the biggest fashion item of the year, the dinosaur outfit. So there you go, a dinosaur outfit is acquirable via this challenge on the 
presumably at the stadium to do with the pinata dinosaur. Now what instantly annoyed me about this is the stunt park is not new and refreshed, it's just got new colours. Now I'm pretty damn sure that we heard the stunt park was going to be different and it was going to be a refreshed stunt park. Now when they said refreshed stunt park, I thought it would be more than just new colours, but whatever, the stunt park is back, those are the details. Speaking of the dinosaur, we have new event lab props as we can see. The lucky cat and the red dinosaur pinata props have been added to the blueprint builder, so we always like to see new event lab props. Now the Ken Block portion of this update is here. We can see the details here. To honour the life of Ken Block, all players have been sent the 1965 Ford Hoonigan Mustang and the Ken Block Race suit and helmet. Those have been gifted to everybody. If you want that, go and check your message centre. They have also put some special content together within the Horizon Wilds Takeover Festival playlist to get things like the Go Fast Risk Everything Forza Link phrase, so you can get that now. And as I mentioned earlier, the Gymkhana 9 Hoonigan Ford Focus RS RX is now available to get to your garage. And if you drive it or any other Hoonigan vehicle for 4.3 miles, you will unlock the number 43 helmet as a player badge. Number 43 is obviously Ken Block's number. We can now unlock that as a player badge if you drive a Hoonigan vehicle for seven kilometers or more. And then what we have here is a list of accolades that are mostly Ken Block related, but mainly just for this whole series. So we have, you can see on screen, they're mostly stunt related or Hoonigan car related. So if you want to pause and have a read of all these new accolades, you can see there are some over at the bottom here, which are a bit more difficult the Horizon Wilds Takeover Collector, get every car that's new this month, own every Hoonigan. So yeah, there's two two full pages of new accolades, which is always good to see, um, mostly Ken Block tributes. What do we have next? Well, in terms of bug fixes, there's quite a few that they've pointed out. They always fix a lot in every update, but they only show us some of the key ones. These are the key ones that they have showed us today. If you have had any issues with anything on this list right here, you can now safely know that it is fixed. I will do another video at some point talking about the full changelog of every individual fix. I'll show you, show you them all. As I said, this is just the summed up version. So in terms of series um, 18, that is pretty much everything. Seven new cars, evolving world, the usual additions. I have no complaints there. Now, speaking of bug fixes and stuff like that, Playground Games have released a new, I guess, feature on the Forza forums called the Troubleshooting Hub. This is all to do with bug fixes, issues you're having with the game, how they can be fixed quicker. I will go more in detail about this in another video soon. So guys, that is series 18 summed up. Let me know in the comment section below your favorite part of the whole series. I will see you all in the next video.